What's up, everybody? Welcome inside Studio 34. This is the FanDuel Hurry Up alongside Jim Sonis. I am Greg Sossman. Jim, how you doing? I'm pretty good, Greg. I'm excited for the Thanksgiving slate, which is tomorrow. Then got a pretty interesting main slate on Sunday, too. There's no Chiefs. There's no Rams. There's no Saints, no Falcons, no Zeke Elliott. So it makes things pretty interesting for this week. We're focusing on a lot of bad offenses, but Personally, I'm pretty okay with that, so I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm excited to watch some football, eat some food, and hopefully win a little cash. But the way I'm going to win that cash is through exploiting a whole bunch of matchups, and that's what we're going to talk about today to lead off the hurry-up. And we begin with the Los Angeles Chargers against Arizona. The Chargers have had one of the best rushing offenses in the NFL all year long, which means Melvin Gordon in obvious play this week. Yeah, I think he's my number one play at any position on the entire slate, even when you consider price. I think that, like, him at $8,900 is just worth it to me because this Cardinals defense, you know, they've been better than perception, I think, especially from a pass rushing perspective. They've gotten after the quarterback this year, but they have given up a lot of big chunk plays. So far this year, the Cardinals have allowed 25 rushes to go for 15 or more yards. That is the most in the entire league. And Melvin Gordon has actually had a lot of those chunk plays too. He has 14 carries of 15 or more yards. That's tied for second in the league behind just Zeke Elliott. So, the yardage upside is definitely there for Melvin, and he's had yardage upside this entire year, which led to a really solid floor for him. He has failed to score in two separate games this year, which is a good number by itself, only two games failing to score. And in those two games without a touchdown, he has 23 Vandal points and 18 Vandal points, which is just Absurd. And I love that safety I get from Melvin Gordon. And if he does score, the upside here is just bonkers. And on top of the rushing production for him, I love his passing down work. He has 20% of the targets in the games he has played this year. He has 29% of the red zone targets. So Melvin does really check every box I could possibly want for a running back on the slate. So to me, He's a player I want heavy exposure to in tournaments. I know he'll be super popular, but I don't care personally. I think he's very much worth that. He is the first guy lock in for cash games as well. So to me, I've been riding Melvin Gordon all year long, and I really see no reason to stop right now. And this just is too good of a spot to pass up. Melvin Gordon, you can make the argument it's always too good to be true and too good to pass up. This week, the obvious candidate, as Jim just said, is number one play on the board this week. Up next is, once again, going back to the well. Jim, you, you <laughs> promised us you weren't yeah. going to do this again. And yet here we are recommending the Giants passing on. 